When a woman loses her husband, she loses much more than her partner. परेशानी बहुत ठाई परेशानी जिस टाइम मुझे नहीं था बच्चों को खाने को भी नहीं था। She loses her place in society, shunned by society, ostracized by her community, left in the lurch by her in-laws and her own family. She finds herself in desperation. She is unable to remarry, poor, uneducated, and cannot find a job. Her problems worsen with superstitions and blind faiths that brand the widow an evil, a bad omen, someone who has no place in mainstream society. If the life of a widow is tragic, then the life of a child of a widow, especially in India, is heartrending. Most children have to help their struggling mothers by working on the streets or in factories, where child labor abuse is a common practice. It's no fault of the child that his or her father has died and the mother has become a widow. Still, it is the child who struggles the most. The main reason, they have no access to an education that could secure their future and allow them to lead a life of dignity. So, should a widow's child be destined to struggle through his or her life just because the mother is a hapless widow? India today has about 42 million widows and their children number to over 100 million. It's one man's quest that is making sure that the world over, children of widows do not go through a life of struggle. He is Lord Raj Lumba, who champions the cause of widows and their children through the Lumba Foundation, established in 1998. He was inspired by his mother, Srimati Pushpavati Lumba, who widowed at a very early age of 37 years, struggled but successfully educated her seven young children single-handedly. It was a simple thought that enabled Lord Lumba to launch his charity. This is because women in India suffer because of prejudices, traditions and poverty. But as widows, their plight is even worse. The Lumba Foundation, the first global charity to be accredited by the United Nations, today remains strongest in India. The foundation has so far brought cheer and happiness to thousands of widows and their children in India through education. In the last decade, the Lumba Foundation has funded the education of over 6,500 children of poor widows and supported over 27,000 family members in India. In 2012, the foundation will be educating over 3,000 children of poor widows in 18 states in India. Each beneficiary is selected irrespective of gender, religion or caste. The foundation selects children who have lost their father, which is authenticated by a death certificate, and the mother's income is less than rupees 3,000 per month from all her resources. Once a child has been selected, the foundation gives him or her a monthly scholarship of rupees 500, which is guaranteed for a period of five years initially. The efforts are already reaping smiles. In Bihar, the Musahar community, one of the most backward community, has benefited from the foundation's efforts. At Dilwa in Punjab, the foundation has adopted a school in a 50-50 partnership with the state government. The children are provided a healthy environment with complete tools for education and all-round development. We have also taken a new initiative of approaching some of the major public sector undertakings and also private sectors, requesting them to join hands with the foundation as part of their corporate social responsibility. Jindal Power Limited and Lumba Foundation have signed an MOU to educate 200 children of widows 
in the state of Chhattisgarh at their Tamnar project. Parget is really delighted uh, to join hands with Duma Foundation in their noble cause for upliftment of widows and children of the widows. Uh, we are supporting them in three states, uh, namely Andhra Pradesh, uh, West Bengal and Orissa. This effort will continue to grow year on year. I am happy Lumba Foundation have come forward to join hands with NBCC to educate children of the poor widows in the states of Bihar as well as North Eastern states. I believe Lumba Foundation is doing good work and we will continue to support Lumba Foundation to educate children of the poor widows. Partnerships like these have defined the foundation's success story. Today, there are Indian public sector companies like Power Grid, NBCC, ONGC, State Bank of India, Central Bank of India, and some private sector companies like Jindalpal Limited, Hinduja Foundation, HSBC, Singhania Group, Oswal Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited, the Bristol Hotel of BMK Hospitality, Micromax Mobiles, Lions Club of Delhi, and many, many more that have extended their hands to partner with the foundation. Many celebrities and individuals have also extended their support to the foundation, like Kajol and Ajay Devgan, international ambassadors of the foundation. Abhay Oswal, patron of the Lumba Foundation, Sir Richard Branson, Patron-in-Chief of the Lumba Foundation and Chris Parsons, who spread awareness about the Foundation by biking from London to Gibraltar, raising a remarkable sum of pound 120,000, which will now go towards the education of widows' children in India. When a woman becomes a widow, the responsibility to bring up her family, her children, becomes more on her shoulders and she has to tolerate all the circumstances from her family and from society. I am very much happy that Luma Foundation has come forward to improve the plight of women, especially for the widows and to educate their children. I think what is so striking about your foundation is that when I first discovered uh, uh, about the work that you do, my first question was, why was, that, why was this never done before? It's such an obvious missing piece of the jigsaw that if we want to promote the interests of children by promoting the interests of women that we must particularly pay attention to, uh, to those many, many, many uh, widows uh, around uh, the world. Your continuing support for the foundation, we can continue to educate widows' children. We can continue to help widows gain that financial independence they so badly need, and in particular, campaign worldwide to ensure that widows and their children obtain their basic human rights. I want to become a scientist. I want to become a teacher. I want to become a CA. I want to become a computer teacher. I want to become a mother and my mother. Children have their dreams which they can realize through education. Together we can help them. Let's educate children of poor widows in India.